Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can use Google Rooms. So this is a great way to communicate, to chat. It's kind of like text messaging, except it's all contained within Google without having to give a cell phone number. So if you don't already see Rooms in your sidebar when you sign into your Gmail, then just go over to your settings, go to see all settings, and then click on the chat and meet tab. From there, make sure that Google Chat is toggled on. Chat position is either on the left side or the right side, whatever you like. And then you can choose to turn Meet on also if you'd like to have that available. But that's not necessary. We're really just focusing on turning Google Chat on and to have the chat position either on your left or your right. From there, you can create a new room by clicking on the little plus sign. If this is minimized, then just make it bigger like that. You can also move up and down how much room the sidebar would take. So go ahead and press plus to add a new room, and then you want to create room. There are benefits to using a room instead of a group conversation, and I'll talk about that in a moment. So let's go ahead and create a room, and then you can enter the email addresses of anybody you want to add to a room. If you don't know who that is yet, you can do that in a later step. So I'm not gonna add anybody yet, you can choose if you want to use threaded replies or not. Threaded replies are just like email and Gmail by default, they're usually threaded. And then whether or not you need people outside your organization to join. Then just press create. And now we're in our sample room. That is the name of the room that I had created. To add members at a later time, you can just click on the drop down. You can add people and bots. Bots would be some automated things. Don't worry too much about that. You could just add people. All that stuff will be found in that drop down. In addition, at the beginning, you'll have to add people down here. Now, what does this look like? You can generally just send little chat messages here. People will then be able to react with an emoji if you'd like. Just like that, you can actually hover over to see who has responded with that certain emoji. So you would be able to see if you wanted to do a poll, or you just want people to react to make sure that they had read it. If you need to edit that message, you can click on the little pencil icon to edit your message, and you can delete a message here also. If it's necessary to send any of these messages to your email, you can forward it to your email inbox. Some other things you can do is you can upload a file, you can attach something from your Google Drive, you can actually create a new Google Doc right from here, you can also launch a video meeting or add a scheduled calendar event. Now, the reason I said that rooms are better than a group chat is because in addition, in a room, you have this files tab where you can add any files that you want easily accessible by anybody in the room. In addition, you can add tasks. So you can add a room task here, you can even assign it to a person that's in your room. So I'm the only person in my room right now, but I'm going to add myself and it would say who it's assigned to. And you can add a date and a time, say that this is due the 28th at 5 o'clock p.m. So I can add all of that there. If I need to add some additional details, you can do that. When the person has completed the task, they can simply check it off. And it goes down to this completed area down here. Let me uncheck it so that it goes back here so you can just see it. So again, you can add an assignee, a date, and the specific task that you need. Everything that gets done here is actually going to be logged in this main chat screen also. Every time somebody would message you, you would get an alert on your computer if you have alerts turned on. You can adjust that setting by changing the notification. So here you can go to your notifications. If it's notify always, then you would always get a notification. You can also change which type of notifications you want. Now I'm going to move over in a moment to showing how this works on the phone. So again, it can be more like a text message. One last thing before I move there, when you assign a task, you can only assign it to one person. So if I added another student here, you can see that I can change who I signed it to, but I cannot assign to more than one person. Only one person can be assigned a task. Okay, so let's go ahead and move over to talking about what this looks like on the phone. Okay, so if you're on your phone, then you would want the Google Chat app, and then you'll have access to the rooms right there on your phone. Make sure that your notifications are turned on, and then it will work just like a text message. From there, you can go into your sample room, and you would be able to pretty much text <laughs> with people in the room. You can also add images, 
things from your camera roll, things from your Google Drive, very similar to what you could do on the web. And anytime somebody messages, you would get a notification on your phone. If you're not getting notifications, you just want to make sure that you have notifications turned on for all messages. In addition, in your settings, go to your notifications and make sure that your chat notifications are turned on. That's really it. That's how you get started with rooms in your Gmail. You can use that for office communication, student communication, whatever you might need. It's a great way to organize files for a brainstorm. Students could also use this to organize things for a project. And they also have the task list to be able to assign things to group members. And you can do that for your colleagues. Now, the last thing that I want to mention, if you are just in your normal Gmail, for example, and somebody messages you, it will pop the message open just in this little tiny window here for you. You can see it. You can see that it was coming from sample room. You can reply right here, just like that. And if you want to get to the full room, you can pop it open by pressing this open chat in full screen. And that would bring you back to the view that I was showing before. You can pop it down by clicking back there. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Bye for now.